Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your daily vibes for Saturday, July 14th. This is for all signs. Um, today is a very confusing day. <laughs> okay, it is. I think there's a lot going on. Uh, it's very heavy. There's, a, there's like a heavy hearted energy. Even though it's peaceful, it's like I'm just waiting for that bomb to go off. When is that bomb going to go off? That kind of thing. Um, you know, somebody has been enlightened to a point of um, no turning back. You know, I I know what I need to do and it's time to go do it. Okay, this is like the sixth reading I have done for today with all different kinds of decks. And it just seems like every single reading I do is, is very deep. It's very... Um, some, something is being washed away that, that may hurt, but it's going to allow you to find a better wish fulfillment. And this, this washing away could be something internally or it could be a person from your life, okay? Something is being washed away that is allowing you to, to bring your, your true dreams into manifestation. And we all know that's what's going on with this Cancer Eclipse anyway, but that's exactly what the cards are saying as well. Um... You know, it's like, what's next? And that's how we're feeling. What's next? What's going to happen next? I, I know that something is coming. And I feel like we're all going through a period of enlightenment that is is uh, waking us up as to who we are, what we really want, and what we need to do. So I feel like somebody has been wearing a mask, and now the mask is absolutely being taken off. And people are are really thinking about where their heart lies and what they need to do to, to make their heart... Um, shine again you know to feel feel fulfilled so today could be a day of receiving communication unexpectedly from somebody we had the lover's card like three times in the readings that i did um and that's an unexpected uh, unexpected choice perhaps in love perhaps somebody has come to the conclusion because i did see a decision had been made a decision has been made to to offer this love you know this is where i want to go this is what i want to do now the lover's card can be somebody that is not your usual type it could be somebody completely new and usually when i see the lover's card not always it's somebody that you think that you know who the one is but that one is not the one it's somebody else so i feel like there could be some communication coming in from somebody that you did not expect to get you didn't expect to get this communication at all and all of a sudden it comes in and you're you you're like oh wow i don't even know how i'm gonna handle this i really don't um, so I feel like this, but it could turn out to be a soulmate connection. It could be a soulmate. So just keep that in mind. I think people are, are lining more with their hearts than they are with materialistic things at this time. Um, cause I see that some sort of materialism or, or materialistic, um, desires are starting to dissolve. I'm, I'm waking up that kind of energy. Uh, the lovers, son of a gun. Don't tell me I ain't aligned because I am. All right? Okay? So. <laughs> oh, my goodness. See, the goosebumps are really high. Oh, I have to also tell you that, that we had a mother's love card come up as well. Somebody, a mother perhaps from the other side is, or a grandmother or a motherly figure is trying to guide you in the right way. And somebody has been listening. She's been talking to you. Um, <laughs> you know, trying to get you to do something and you haven't been listening to her because it's, she was next to the, or do not follow, somebody has not been following their intuition and the mother is, is trying to push them. And I saw uh, somebody from the other side, angelic guidance. So anyway, and it did have the mother card, a mother's love. Um, I can't remember what deck it was. Was it this one? Oh, here it is. Okay, um, a mother's love. A mother's love is reaching out to you at this time and holding you close. She knows how much you miss her and wants to remind you that this special bond of love can never be broken. So this could be a grandmother even. But somebody from the other side is, is trying to push you in the direction of your heart's desire. And you're like we just talked about the lovers and I mean what more can I say? intimate relationships carefully weigh your decisions carefully weigh your decisions you know what your heart wants why are you not listening you're not listening to your mother you're not listening you know you need to nurture yourself you need to follow your heart at this time so i feel like today is a day of perhaps you know rejoining with the love of your life 
I don't know what that is, but whatever. We're going to get one more of these, and then we're going to see what else grabs my attention. Um, what else did we have? Somebody wasn't following their intuition. They haven't been. Their intuition's been nudging them, begging them to make a move, to take action. And they've been letting their ego drive. Ego was big, big in every single reading, which it has been. Pride. We know that's what's been going on. These people have been letting their ego drive instead of their heart. And that's been a big theme. And maybe that's what's being washed away, that mentality. You know, my heart knows what it wants. And I can't let these materialistic and society control my life at this time. I need to follow my heart. Um... Eight of Swords, an illusion of being trapped, a lack of self-confidence, afraid to take action. Come on now. It's time to take action. Take action. You're not trapped. You have the ability to go after what you want whenever you want it. Go do it. Let's get one of these. I haven't used this deck yet today, so this is this would be completely new. Oh, okay. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Don't be afraid. Speak up. Let's get one of these. <clears throat> Ooh, oh, yes, 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 yes. Forgiveness, forgiveness. Holding on to resentment and anger is preventing or even suffocating your spiritual growth. Resentment is one of the strongest and most damaging of human emotions. The act of forgiveness in its own right is equally incredibly powerful and it has the capacity to heal and transform. There's an opportunity for a union here if somebody could forgive. And I think that's whatever this motherly figure from above is trying to do. I don't know. Let's get one of these. Remember I talked about your intuition? Well, here we are. Your inner guidance is real and trustworthy. Somebody hasn't been listening. And your mother ain't happy about it. Or whoever this person is, this female person from that has passed. Your inner guidance is real and trustworthy from Archangel Michael. Please help me clearly hear, see, feel, and know the divine guidance that I have asked and prayed for. Allow me to keep my ego <laughs> out of the way so your wisdom can come streaming through me for my own benefit and for those around me. Remember, we talked about ego a minute ago. Ego is not bringing you the happiness that you deserve. Now we're going to get one of these. Maybe two. Oh, beyond the mind, the heart beats ego versus heart come on now i don't even need to read that card follow your heart inspiration look at this as a time of inspiration a time of hope your prayers have been heard. 
by somebody from above and they're begging you to listen. There's an opportunity that's coming in that's very unexpected. Do not be afraid of this opportunity. Get to know, listen, participate, go with it. Follow your heart today. There's a new opportunity coming in. And it could bring you healing. Love heals. Love heals. Do not be afraid of love. Trust your inner guide. Trust your intuition. Somebody from the other side is helping you to find the wish fulfillment that you desire. But it's up to you to step out of your ego and follow your heart. Do not let ego get in the way of following your intuition. I don't know who this message is for. But it is for somebody. And if you're thinking, well, I want to know if new love is coming in. You already know the answer. The answer is within you. You know that answer. You know if it's not time. You know if it's time. You know. You know what you need to do to get that love. You just need to listen. We'll read that 21 just for the heck of it. Beyond the mind, the heart beats. In the chaos of modern life, in the constant fluctuations of our minds, it can be difficult to remember that a sublime sanctuary lies within, yet it is always there. Beneath the ceaseless activity, there is an endless, vast spaciousness that restores and connects us to something greater, something that exists outside of time. Some might call it eternity. Within that sanctuary, sacred sound is felt rather than heard. That sacred sound is actually the reverber reverberating heartbeat of the entire universe. Your heart's own rhythm sounds within the greater universal heartbeat. The totality of life, all of your being can be felt as one through listening to and feeling for the sacred sound of your heart beating within you. It is through this heartbeat that we experience a love that is more than preference or attachment. This is the love that inspires, energizes, and moves us to create even beyond what we once thought was possible. Your love for life, the need to feel alive and express yourself, and the quest for what is truly fulfilling, love. These are the sacred urges that, re that rebel against fear and promote passion for being alive. They flow through your blood and can be felt through the beating of your heart. This oracle has a message for you. There is, there is the way of the mind which can make mountains out of molehills, even when it thinks it is turning mountains into molehills. Then there is the way of the heart. It is the subterranean. It is subterranean and moves us subtly beneath 
possible obstacles, intelligently shifting from exquisite sensitivity, sensing the way forward through dangerous pathways, and responding to what is before it even occurs in the physical world. However, with the heart's intelligence, we cannot see and know in the same way in what we do when we allow the mind to direct us. <laughs> it's mind versus heart. We have to be open to another way if we want to benefit from the innate intelligence of the heart. The mind sees plans and strategies. The heart feels, responds, senses, and intuits. When we walk the path of the heart, we must feel and respond rather than plan our way. It is a different way to live and create. It is closer to the earth and to the source of life itself. It is not for those who are lacking in courage and trust. But you are not one of those, are you? You are being asked to trust your heart and to drop into it. The mind is important, but it cannot supply the heart. The role of the mind is to serve the truths of the heart that is to create the spacious chamber of receptiveness into which the sacred rhythm of the heartbeat can resound this oracle comes with some guidance for you deep within you know what to do and you know what is true oh, oh. it matters not whether the mind and its plans seem to agree with your inner sense your willingness to trust your heart and to rebel against the fear will serve you very well. Let your heart lead you. Be sure of your faith and trust in what you feel. Your head and heart have been in conflict at times over the course of your life. This has brought you struggle and sometimes deep suffering. However, this oracle brings you the message that a truce will soon be declared and the appropriate outcome of the mind, wavering the right white flag of surrender, is imminent. Soon, if not already, you will finally be feeling that your heart is leading you. Wow. Okay, hold on one second here. There it is. Follow your heart. <laughs>